Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? Good, good. good. Okay, I have three things that I want to show you guys, okay? And you let me know if you're good at this, okay? All right? Okay, I have this here. What's this? A soccer ball. Do I have any soccer players here? I, I saw you practice before. Yeah, you got a jersey, don't you? Okay, so would you guys say that you're pretty good at soccer? Yeah, yeah. How'd your games go, boys? Did you do pretty good? Yeah, your team do good? Awesome, all right. Did you have a game this weekend? Yeah. Did you guys win? Yeah. All right, of course. <laughs> Who would know? Okay. But uh, so you guys are good at soccer. What about this? I got another thing right over here. All right, what's this? Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, yeah. This thing was just, it was just a white uh, deal. It was made in an image of a pumpkin, but what do you think, what did, what happened here? Who, what, did somebody color it in? Yeah? Kai Kai did that. Yeah, that was a good job. So do you guys, are you painters? Have you guys made a picture before for your parents? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Would you say you're pretty good at painting? You're pretty good at Peyton. Yeah, Peyton, are you good at painting? Yeah, yeah, she is. Awesome. All right. Okay, I got one more thing. Let's see. All right. What's this? Bible. It's a hymn book. Okay. A hymn book. So this is, we used to sing. Do I have any good singers here? Yeah? You want to show me? No. Do you guys know Jesus loves me? You want to sing it with me? Okay. Jesus loves me, this sign. Can I hear? For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. All right. Yeah, we can. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, round of applause. That was really good. You guys did that well. What's that? What's this? This is a bracelet. This? That's a once in Royal David City. I'm, I'm sure we could sing that, but we need the words for that. So. No, but so you guys... There's some people that know, that can do all three of those things very well, right? Do you guys think that you can do every single thing well? No. 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 There, there's always going to be something that somebody does better than us, right? But there is one person that does everything exceedingly well, if not even perfect. Do you guys know who that is? Jesus, that's right, that's right. And so the scripture passage today that I want to read to you guys is from Mark chapter 7. And so this has a really awesome story about how Jesus is, shows his, his power perfectly, okay? And so they, uh, they brought him someone who was deaf and had difficulty speaking. So that means somebody that can't hear and then can't speak, Okay? That would be really hard if you couldn't hear and couldn't speak, right? You guys wouldn't want that, no. right? No. See, you're listening, so you don't. Yeah, that's good. So it, Jesus took him aside from the crowd by himself. He put his fingers in the man's ears, and then he touched his tongue, okay? And then he looked up to heaven with a great sigh, and then he said, be opened. And what do you guys think happened? He could hear. Right immediately he could hear. And then his tongue was loosened so that he could speak plainly to them. And so Jesus gave him instructions not to tell anybody what happened. But the more that he ordered them to do that, guess what? If you had good news like that, you would be wanting to spread it, right? So they continued to proclaim it. And... They were utterly astonished, saying, He has done all things well. He makes even those who are deaf hear and those who are able to speak talk. 
Now, that's awesome, right? That's good news. That's very good news. Yeah, so we serve a Savior that not only uh, looks to us with compassion and can heal us by touch, by words, but it's by his actions, too. What did he show by his actions that he, that he healed us? Does anybody know? The cross? <laughs> yes, by, by Christ dying on the cross and then coming back to life in resurrection that he gave us the tools for our salvation. That those who believe in Jesus, that we can be healed from the root cause. So like the things that make us sin, the things that make us not be able to speak the right words or to hear what God is calling for us, Jesus, Jesus fixed the root cause. So he did everything amazingly well. So the things that we do in this world, that we, we give honor and glory to him because he's the thing that made all things well. All right? So let's go to God in prayer and thank him, but then also to help us to do things well for his glory. Will you guys bow your heads with me? Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ, who has done all things well. Um, that he came to earth to, to live a sinless life, our perfect representation of who you have called man to be. And Lord, that he showed not only that he was our uh, advocate, our, our, our savior, but he also uh, was our friend. He was compassionate towards those who were hurting, and he restored those uh, there on earth, um, giving, giving uh, sight to the blind, um, Speak for those that, uh, that are mute, Lord, and give hearing, restore hearing to those that are deaf. Lord, we pray that uh, in those times where we ourselves, that we don't use uh, our gifts very well, that, that, you, um, that you instill in us the Holy Spirit so that the things that we do well, that it proclaim Christ to those around us. Lord, and uh, we pray that you, you help us when we fall short and forgive us for our many sins. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's kids say, Amen. Amen. Ooh.